Hey guys, this is Cora Wilson with Force of Martial Arts and Fitness. And today I'm going to be doing a fitness kickboxing workout with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you what the workout will be today. So our warm up is going to be the Sally Squat Song. So if you've been working out with us, you already know what that is. If you don't, it's a song called Flower by Moby and it's so wonderful. So I'm actually not gonna do this portion. I'm gonna release a separate video of me doing this workout to this song so people can access it anytime without having to access this whole uh, workout itself. Um, but for those of you, just a quick explanation. Um, when the song starts, you're gonna hear Sally up and you're gonna be up. And then when he says Sally down, you're gonna squat down and you're gonna hold your squat until he says back up again. So you squat down when he says down, you come up when he says up. That will be your warm up today. Then we're going to go into um, some uh, 30 second intervals. So everything today is gonna be 30 seconds. Straight right punch, straight left punch, both punches. Hook, hook, both, uppercut, uppercut, both. Right tie kick, left tie kick, both. Right knee, left knee, both. Um, and then same for our front kicks. So after we do that, after we do our first set of punch, we're gonna go into jumping jacks. So it'll be punch, jacks, punch, jacks, punch, jacks all the way till we reach the end. Once you reach the end, we're gonna do it again, and you're gonna do it with different types of squats. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves on, and I'm gonna do the first set with you guys, okay? Okay guys, when the bell rings, we're gonna get started with our straight left punch. All right, our straight left punch. All right, let's go. Straight left, straight left. Again, if you don't have a bag, punch, punch. I like to march my feet right here. So going on. On the bell, we're gonna hit our first set of jumping jacks. Now, if this is your second time through the video, you're gonna be doing squats, any squats that you wanna do. Punch, 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 punch. March those feet, march those feet. We got about five seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks for 30 seconds. Big, deep breaths. Almost halfway done. On the next bell, we're gonna do our straight right punch, straight right punch, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit that straight right. Bam, bam, bam. For those of you at home, march your feet with this. Even if you're not punching a bag and getting that resistance, you're still gonna get cardio by moving your feet. 15 seconds. We're gonna hit our second round of jumping jacks. Almost to the five second mark. Four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Round two. Now, up next we're gonna do uh, both punches, so both straights. I like to call this straight blast. We're about halfway done. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight blast. Bust them out. Bring your punches back to your face. Straighten out your arms all the way. You can even get crazy with then go low and come up high. It's just a way to play with your punches. Busting out those straights. We're gonna hit our jacks on the bell. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Up next, we're gonna hit our hooks. We're gonna go left hook first. Deep breathing. Almost hitting our halfway point. Almost there. Actually, I say that a lot, even when we're not really almost there. If you work out with me, you already know that. Lies. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, left hand, bam. You can even add some head movement. Bam, that little weave will work your legs. Bam, hook, hook. Hook. You can go high, you can go low. You can go low, medium, high. Hook. You can even stand and do this. It's not pretty, 
But if you want to feel up the burn in your shoulders, it'll do the job. Hook, 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 jumping jacks. Keep jacking. We're going to hit our right hook on the bell. And we're about halfway done with our punches. We're going to get some kicks in here in a minute. 10 seconds. Right hook on the bell. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, right hook. Bam, bam, bam. You don't have to weave. You can just march in place and throw your hooks. I like to weave. Just gives me a little extra motion. And if, if you don't do the Sally song for a warm up, you can kind of use these first couple sets as your warm up. Seven seconds, we're gonna hit our jacks. Hook, hook, and jacks. I'm playing my music low, so Facebook doesn't flag my video and turn off the music or turn off the volume. 15 seconds, jump and jacks. We're gonna throw both hooks. 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Both hooks. Left, right, left, right, left, right. You can even weave with it too. Left, right. You can go fast. Or you can take a little break and go slow. Adding in those weaves, working those legs. You can double up on one side, double up on the other. Just ways to mix it up. We're gonna hit our jacks after this. And then we're gonna go into our uppercuts. Last round of punches. Jacks. Left uppercuts are gonna be next. You can even, after we get done with our uppercuts, take our gloves off if you prefer. About to hit the halfway point on your jacks. Make sure you're breathing. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can uppercut in the air as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so big dips with an almost exaggerated uppercut. You can work that just to get some motion in. Or little, 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 little. When I have weights a lot of time, I like to do that just to get just kind of a different motion in. Because how many times in a day do you make that motion? Left uppercut, roll your shoulder, you can move your hips, move your knees, move your body more. Jumping jacks on the bell. Doing our jacks. About to hit our right side, jacks, both side, jacks. We'll be done with the punches, onto the kicks. Halfway done. Coming up on the 10 second mark. Going to hit that right side in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. You can go really fast. You can march your feet with this too. Whatever you want to do here. It's your workout. I just ask that you finish it. Don't quit halfway just because no one's there watching you. Nine seconds, we're gonna jack it. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks, okay. We're gonna hit our last round of punches. Both uppercuts. I like to march my feet with this next set. 20 seconds on the clock. 15. Almost there. Marching uppercuts, go, 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 go. You can take your gloves off after this. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Halfway done with our workout after this. 
Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. You can go ahead and take your gloves off if you like. Jumping jacks. Now we're gonna hit our first set of kicks. I like to start with my right side on kicks. It's just habit, and I always start with my left on punches. So that's just kind of the way I roll. 10 seconds. So these are gonna be our right tie kicks or our round kicks. I'm gonna demonstrate on the bag, and I'm gonna demonstrate in the air. All right, so uh, for those of you who come to classes, this is our kick where we kick with our shin and rotate our hips. So if you don't have a bag, um, just kind of throw that kick out. I like to take a step, kick, kick. Now we're gonna get higher here in a second. That's gonna be more of a front kick. So you can go high with these, that's up to you. I just like to make sure I turn my foot and pivot. I have that little pre-pivot, bam, snap it. That'll be a little round kick action. All right, jumping jacks. We're gonna hit the left side in just a second. Anytime you take and add an extra step, like that, it kind of can become a more cardio drill for you. 15. So we're a little over nine minutes in. Eight seconds. If you did the Sally song, you're a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Step, kick. Step, kick. Step, kick. Step, kick. Step, kick. Step, kick. Hitting those low kicks, bam. That pre-pivot, bam. There's a, and there's a couple different ways you can throw kicks. I'm just trying to really make our, uh, these lower kicks different than our front kicks we're about to do here in a second. Bam. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. We're gonna alternate those kicks on the bell. I'm gonna show you kind of a couple different versions of that too. 20 seconds. We've only got knees and front kicks after this. Then you're halfway done with your workout. 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, almost there. 4, 3, 2, 1. People in the valley, I see people do this all the time. Kick, 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 kick. If you see me in class, I'm probably going kick switch, kick, switch, kick. So in the air, do what you want. You can even do like a squat, kick, squat, kick, or you can just kick, kick, or you can do like I do, kick, switch, kick. This is gonna get you more cardio in because you're taking those extra steps. All right, jumping jacks. We are done with our round kicks. We're gonna head in to our knees. Almost done. Get a little view of the workout for you. 10 seconds, little Lizzo in the background if you can hear that. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right, knee, 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 knee. Some people can hop in with this if you want more cardio. All right, so that hopping knee, or you can stay grounded and just hit that knee here. Jumping jacks on the belt. So close guys, almost there. 10 seconds. Ish, 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 ish. Sometimes I like to bust it out a little harder in the last couple seconds. Jumping jacks. You're gonna hit our other side on the belt. 20 second mark. So close to being done with this part. 15 seconds. 10. Get ready for that left knee. Three, two, one. All right, and also whatever side I'm kneeing with, I like to put that side back. Knee, knee, knee. Get that hop in there if you want. Ish, 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 ish. 10 seconds, jumping jacks on the bell. So close. 
four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Hit our last set of knees, both knees on the bell. We've been moving a lot. I wonder how many steps I've gotten. I should have counted that, tracked it beforehand. 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna show you a couple things. Some people do this, just marching like this. Some people do skips, okay? Up to you on what you wanna do there. So if you need a more low impact, you can do this right here. Bam, a more higher impact move are these right here, coming up. If you are that type of person that wants the more low impact, we're actually adding some low impact fitness kickboxing classes as soon as this virus stuff gets out of here. Jumping jacks. We're on our last set of kicks now. Front kicks. 20 seconds. Only three more rounds of kicking, three more rounds of jumping jacks. Almost there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Kick aside. Front kick. Front kick. Front kick. Front kick. You can play with it. You can snap it up high. You can push it. Whatever. Just kick in the air. And go forward with it. And you can even do pop, pop, pop for the higher impact. Bam. Ush. Ush. Jumping jacks. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Getting close. This is a workout that even kids could do safely. They'll whine and complain, but it's not going to hurt them. 13 seconds. Almost there. Other side on the bell. Four, three, two, one. Just to make it easier, again, that side I'm kicking with, I like to put it back. Bam. 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 Ush. 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 Again, higher impact coming up or just regular low impact. Taking a step if you want. Ush. Ush. Hitting our last round on the bell. Four, three, two, jumping jacks. We're gonna alternate our front kicks next. Hit our last round of jumping jacks. 20 seconds. Almost there. Halfway done. Both front kicks on the bell. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right. Front kick. I like to switch. Front kick. Switch. Front kick. Um, and that's the same on the back. Or you can just stand in an even base and just kind of kick there. So you can have regular base. Front kick. Front kick. Or Squat, kick, squat, kick. Whatever you want, just throw some front kicks. Ush, 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 ush. Last round of jumping jacks on the bell. All right, this is it right here. Last time you're gonna do jumping jacks today. Maybe. 20 seconds. Good cardio workout today. Halfway done. Are you giving me a close up? <laughs> 10, 9, 8, almost there. 5, 4, 3, 2, you can have a rest on the bell. Okay, so that was set one. You're going to do that whole thing again, except you're going to do it with different types of squats. So each round, you play with it. Maybe you do a wider stance squat getting low, maybe you uh, get a really wide base, point your toes out, sumo. Maybe you do really skinny squats. 
Maybe you do kind of sort of skinny squats. Maybe you pulse, maybe you jump. You decide what you want to do. So pause the video. You're going to rewind it back to the first set with straights. Now remember, um, I'm going to be coaching during that time for jumping jacks. You're going to be doing squats though. That way um, my cameraman doesn't have to be here for 40 minutes doing a, just holding the camera. So after you get done with all this, cool down. Okay, so um, some things I like to do for cool down is I just like to lay down, close my eyes, big deep breaths, lowering my heart rate. I like to pull in one of my knees and rotate my ankle around, focusing on my breathing. And then I like to grab it with the opposite hand and put my same side hand out. And I like to pull it across my body. Big deep breath, stretching out. Going to the other side, pulling that knee in, rotating that foot. I recently hurt my ankle, so even just this movement right here really feels good. Pull that across. Your back might pop. If you want, you can even add in some reclined pigeons. So pulling one leg across and reaching through and letting that head rest back. Um, if you really wanna feel the stretch more, this bottom leg, raise it up. If you like, you can even grab under your hamstring. It doesn't have to be on the top of your knee. You can go ahead and switch. Pulling that through. If you wanna feel more of a stretch, raise that up just like this. You can rotate your ankles here as well. By now your heart rate should be pretty even. You can sit up, so some good stretches here for your hips, um, feet together. I like to kind of use my, uh, grab my shins and use my elbows to press down on my knees. Um, sometimes I even like kind of picking up this leg and kind of rocking it like a baby. That feels really, really good in the hips. You can come on here and hold. Same for the other side, kind of coming through, rocking that. So um, whatever you wanna do for your cool downs, there's like probably a hundred different things that I like to do and different variations depending on um, where I'm feeling that I need the most TLC. So thanks for watching guys. Um, if you, you know, you can always do this in part one and part two, one in the morning, one at night, all of it together, one one day, one the next day, depending on where you're at in your fitness journey. So thanks for watching.